Before I even jump into this video, we'll take a look at this injury report uh, for the Saints. Um, obviously, you can read. Don't have to go, you know, through person by person. But I do want to point out that uh, Traquan Smith, Nick Vanette, Ken Crawley, Marcus Davenport, Quan Alexander, Will Lutz were all out there. Uh, I, th I guess they did some work, but they're not on the injury report because technically they have not been activated yet. They can still be activated today, tomorrow, you know, Sunday, Monday before the game. But since they're not activated, they don't, you know, have to be listed on the injury report. And for the injury report itself, uh, Lattimore, obviously, full practice. Eric McCoy, Teron Olmstead, limited practice. That's good to see. Those guys are out there. They're activated on the roster. They practice on a limited basis. So looking like, you know, they'll be, they'll be locks. I wouldn't say a lock, but better than the other guys, you know, to play. So that's, that's a real good thing. Uh, MT did not practice. Almost 99.99% sure he won't, you know, be out there this weekend. and Well, I guess Monday, not the weekend. So we're getting healthier, man. We're getting healthier. Uh, as you can see, the Seahawks are a, a little beat up too. But there are a lot of guys that did practice on that list, uh, limited full and things like that. So, hey, man, teams are hurt. It's the NFL. People get hurt, and that's just the way it is. You got to, you know, rebound and next man up mentality as always. But Saints are definitely getting healthier. Glad to see this. Uh, we'll see about those guys that are not activated. Uh, hopefully they, they're activated today or sometime in the next you know, 48 hours. If not, we'll roll with who we got. But jumping into this video, uh, coming off this bye week, playing Monday night, primetime game. These will be you know things I would like to see the offense, defense, coach, staff, everybody update you know, and bring to the table uh, against Seattle. Number one, I need at least five rushing attempts from a person not named Elvin Kamara. I think that's fairly simple. Don't want to, you know, overdo him, overwork him this early in the season. Next on the list, I want eight targets to the tight ends. Charlton, Jawan Johnson, if Nick Vanette comes back, we need to get the tight ends more involved, you know, in the system. Also, special team plays. We need a big one. Uh, Deontay Harris looking like he won't play, so it may be Callaway or Kamara at punt return. Uh, don't know who will be at kick return at the moment, but we just need big plays in special teams, man. Kickers need to make kicks. Gilligan, he's he's had big plays, but we just need more big plays on special teams. Uh, pressure on Geno Smith, man. Russell Wilson isn't back there. I think we should send the house. You know, Geno Smith, uh, blitz him, disguise coverages, but we just need pressure on him at this point. I don't care who gets the pressure. Someone needs to get pressure on Geno Smith, and I think this is the game that you know, coming off a of bye week, guys are fresh, guys are coming back. This is the game we need to get pressure on the quarterback. Uh, also, keeping DK Metcalf and Lockett in front of you. Uh, obviously, both of those guys are a big threat, you know, deep ball receivers. And uh, we need to keep them in front of us. Marcus Williams, he's going to be, you know, counted on a lot this week to play that deep, deep role. Keep those guys in front of you. Uh, Adebo, he's going to have a tough matchup. I think, I mean, Lattimore's going to shine because it's Lattimore. But we need to keep those guys in front of us for sure. Uh, next, communication issues, man, with the linemen. We got to get that right protection issues and things like that. Can't have missed assignments. Just can't have it. Uh, Armstead and McCord may be coming back, so that may just erase 99% of those things. But do need to see less communication uh, issues. Next up, play calling. Sean Payton, Dennis Allen. I need the plays to be crisp this week. You got a week off, you know, to kind of get things together, especially on the offensive end. Some guys may be coming back, linemen coming back, receivers. Who knows? So, those issues need to be addressed, need to be uh, you know attended to. I think we should call a real, real good game offensively. Defensively, we've been pretty good, um, except that one game against the Giants. I think we we fared pretty pretty well for defensive play calling. But everyone can get better. Next up, I think this is the most important. We need to limit the three and outs. We've had so many three and outs this year, I feel like. Maybe not, but in my head, I feel like it's just been so many three and outs, so many short drives, offense stalling. I mean, it's kind of go hands in hand with the play calling and things like that, but three and outs. No, no. I'm tired of seeing three and outs. We need to have drives, put drives together. I don't care if they're big plays for touchdowns, just no three and outs. Win that field position battle, you know, get some get some yardage going and, and just limit those three and outs, like I said. And last but not least, I kind of started with this. Man, who the hell's playing? <laughs> uh, this is kind of not anything that I want to see, but I just want to know who's playing. Uh, it's going to be good to see Monday, who's actually suiting up, you know, who we're missing, how far along guys are. And once we see that, you know, we can have a good understanding on where this team at before that game against the Bucks. 
which is obviously going to be an important game. Haven't seen them since the playoffs. I know we're all excited to see them, but let's get through the Seattle game first, and let's just see who's out there, man. Uh, let me know what I missed, man. What do y'all want to see coming out this bye week against the Seahawks? Uh, I'm sure there's plenty, plenty of things I didn't say, didn't cover, didn't mention, all that. Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man, and I'll be with y'all later today, probably on the Seahawks breakdown. You know, the offense with Geno Smith, what we need to be looking for. This is another morning wrap-up. This is the Boo Tragedies, and I'm out.